I should esteem it a signal honor if you would allow me to escort your leading lady to the regimental ball this evening. <laughs> My leading lady? The fair Georgina. Ah, <laughs> very amusing. Do you think she'll laugh in my face? I'm too old, too crusty? Uh, no. No, it's just that as her director, I'm afraid I could not allow it. I could always find another director who would allow it. <laughs> Quite. Well, I'll see what I can do, but I must insist that she be home by midnight and that there be no hanky-panky, sir, whatsoever. I shall, of course, respect your wishes, Blackadder. However, I don't think you need to be quite so protective. I'm sure she's a girl with a great deal more spunk than most women you find. <laughs> Oh, dear me. <laughs> Absolutely not, sir. It's, it's profoundly immoral and utterly wrong. I will not do it. We can always find another leading lady. <laughs> well, the dress will need a clean. <laughs> Excellent. Now, the important thing is that Melchett should, under no circumstances, realise that you're a man. Yes, yes, I understand that. In order to ensure this, there are three basic rules. One, you must never, I repeat, never remove your wig. <laughs> All right. Second, never say anything. I'll tell him at the beginning of the evening that you're saving your voice for the opening night in London. Excellent, sir. And what's the third? The third is most important. Don't get drunk and let him shag you on the veranda. <laughs> How do I look, darling? Girl bait, sir. Pure bloody girl bait. <laughs> Moustache? Bushy enough? Like a privet hedge. No, good, because I want to catch a particularly beautiful creature in this bush tonight. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be combing women out of your moustache for weeks, sir. God, it's a spankingly beautiful world, and tonight's my night. I know exactly what I'll say to her. Darling. Yes, sir? <laughs> what? Um, I don't know, sir. Well, then butt in. <laughs> I want to make you happy, darling. Well, that's very kind of you, sir. <laughs> Will you kindly stop interrupting? If you don't listen, how can you tell me what you think? I want to make you happy, darling. I want to build a nest for your ten tiny toes. I want to cover every inch of your gorgeous body in pepper and then sneeze all over you. <laughs> really, sir? I must protest. What is the matter with you, darling? Well, it's just all so sudden, sir. <laughs> I mean, the nest bit's fine, but the pepper business is definitely out. <laughs> how dare you tell me how I may or may not treat my beloved Georgina? Georgina? Yes. I'm working out what I want to say to her this evening. Oh, yes. Of course. Thank <laughs> <My> God. <laughs> All right. Yes, sir. Listening, sir. Honestly, darling, you really are the most graceless, dim-witted bumpkin I ever met. <laughs> I don't think you should say that to us. 